What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Deathlight. Now, we're going to be getting into Esper goals. Now, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like a lot of people, usually when banners come around, they're like, oh, is this worth getting? Is this worth pulling for? And I see a lot of the times this dilemma becomes very, very scary for a lot of free-to-play players because you really don't want to waste your resources on the wrong thing. And I think that right now it's kind of crunch time. There's all these launches happening. There's new banners happening. And then we're like literally right around the corner from anniversary so that's a lot to consider so i feel like if you can answer these things this will better help you with assessing how you want to approach and address each banner to come in the future right now of course guys definitely make sure that you like subscribe to the channel i would truly truly appreciate it and thank you all of you guys that have been channel's been going absolutely nuts and i have honestly been enjoying myself and i hope you guys have been too so i just want to take the time to say thank you uh but let's go ahead and get right into it guys now um with this video it's uh, definitely a lot to consider when you're talking about why you want to pull an esper and i don't think that this video is necessarily for individuals that are pulling for things that they like like i have a moderator ace he only ever pulls for espers that he likes he never pulls for anything else he doesn't care if he got to use leon for every other piece of content he's only going to pull for the espers that he likes so this doesn't really apply to individuals like that but i think for those that are looking for having more of those meta esque team comps and like you know slot filling what exactly would you know pretty much propel you or push you to pull and i think the first thing which typically is i feel like the most justifiable reason is if the unit fits into your ritual miracle team right so this is one of the biggest components of the game is farming ritual miracles so chronos a pep fafnir i think that one of the biggest points and really getting to the point of when exactly do you stop right <laughs> when do, when do you exactly have to stop pulling for units right um and it is usually a matter of speed tuning fine tuning you know trying to make your runs faster now my advice is is for newer players you're not really going to be looking for speed necessarily you're going to be looking for consistency consistency is king for me for newer players i would say early game mid game even early late game your goal is to get a consistent uh, clearing comp for chronos a pep and fafnir now there's a lot of mixtures free to play that you can take advantage of and yes they are a lot slower than obviously doing this speed tier uh, or speed clear comps but those comps are usually allocated for people that have had put the time into the game and they typically have the gear quality it's not even just the units because trust me if you think you're going to just snag those units and slap them on a comp and it's going to work well it's not <laughs> right so i think that that's just something that is just like again worth considering is that you want to at minimum have consistent clearing ritual miracle comps before you decide okay Eh, this banner i can honestly skip right now another thing that you might be considering and it's more in the other spectrum if you're trying to play pvp more competitively right and i think that pvp is obviously a really really big component because some people actually really do enjoy this right and i think that more than ever pvp has been a lot more accessible and a lot easier especially point war uh to climb now my thing is is that and this is kind of the jewel that i will give you guys point war i feel like you can honestly climb with a vast majority of different comps um you know really the biggest thing again it goes to your relic quality how much faster are you than your opposing team in a lot of cases or how much better is your tank comp <laughs> so when you're looking at things like that the only other thing that you can really consider for point war or pvp um, is warm-up match and one of the biggest things that i would say is if you're a part of this community paying attention to units that if they come out that people correlate for rta or real time pvp that's going to be kind of your best bet in addressing which ones you want to snag there because there's a many a different comps that work in point war that you would never use in warm-up match so i think that when you're looking at the two you definitely want to differentiate what you, exactly are you trying to be good at or what you're trying to scale at because if you try to do both you got to consider that there are going to be comps that work a lot more efficiently or better in point war because it's you versus an ai whereas you versus a actual person it's my it might not necessarily be the same case and you're dealing with band picks once you get into those higher ranks too so that's just something worth considering there so i feel like in a lot of cases 
if the unit is only really offering you value in pvp that's something that i think is still more of an end game player thing and that still would be a thing that for most free to play players you would want to opt out of unless you just are at that point in the game where you literally have like you know crushed everything else and this is the only thing that you really can focus on you know say renovating or you know re recompiling or making new right so that's pretty much that now outside of like point war ritual miracle you do have other pieces of content that i think are fairly important and good reasons to pull for characters desolate lands obviously for taking your relics to the next level um you have your uh what is it called uh i guess for just attribute specific stuff uh for the calamity islands uh just for those specific comps it's nice to have that unit diversity because it gives you more options to swap in and out to climb that tower but what i will say is that the longer you play this game you are going to have your account being fleshed out a lot more with different attributes that are fairly freer to get or free from events i mean we just had our first event where we got a unit named parmi r6 right and that's the first time that we've ever had an event that's like that and i'm presuming that this is something that they're going to continue to do in the near future so for me when i'm looking at that is that really what you're looking at is just a matter of time and if you're willing to wait that time you can save yourself a lot of freaking premium currency for when it's necessary for you to pull now Zox, you're saying all of this, but what exactly is going to be the big hurrah for me to just blow all my crystals? Like, yeah, if it's not for this and if it's not for that, what would make me blow my crystals? And this is the rule of thumb that I'm following moving forward when looking at whether or not I'm just going to blow every last resource I have to try to go for like a R4 or R6. The unit has to be in, and I'm using this name because of the correlation to it, it has to be Gaius level, okay? It has to be Nuwa level. Now, the reason why I'm using that as kind of the terminology here or as the comparison is because these are units that honestly completely change the trajectory of your account just on their own, right? So if you get a Gaius on an account, a lot of the times, especially if you're an early game player, he absolutely can expedite and speed up your progression. Uh, you get a Nuwa, she absolutely changes the trajectory of how you perform in PvP. Like, so it's units like that that I feel like is really going to be the high in value after a certain point. Now, granted, resources I do feel like, especially premium resources, have seemed to feel a little bit better in terms of accumulation of it. So I think that that's definitely something that is like super huge there, right? You like, you wanna make sure that you're picking up characters that not only change your account in one area too. So that's the other thing I think that's also kind of like, you know, it's nice to pull for things that are isolated into one space, but you also want espers that are going to give you value in other areas, right? Now, whether you want to believe it or not, I can actually use units like Nuwa and Ritual Miracle, which is just kind of insane to me. You can take her into Cube, you can take her into uh, Point War, Warm Up Match. Like there's so many other areas in the game that you can take her and she still either performs extremely well or she excels. Same thing with units like Gaius. I can take them into Ritual Miracle, Desolate Lands, Cube Miracle, Temporal uh, Spatial Tower, Infinite Tower. Like, you get what I'm saying there? So when you're looking at that true value of what a character is, bring, is bringing to your account, this character, again, is going to be useful to you in more than one area. And I think for free-to-play players, it is in your best interest to make sure that you're aiming for characters that give you value in more than one piece of content. Whereas like for some of us, pulling like certain units that only say do really well in one area, like say for example, someone like me who has a stacked account, I might spend uh, pretty occasionally, that's something that works for me right because i'm able to kind of offset the fact of like not really needing to stretch the value of a character i i can actually do things like that right and i think that that's going to give you the best player experiences outside of obviously aiming for things that you want I think that when you're looking at progression and being able to accumulate more resources, you really want to try to find, if there's a five star that's up and you're like, ah, it's only for this one piece of content, try to find an alternative. And usually what I 
I've been coming to find is that a lot of the alternatives from like the epics, for example, are actually kind of sort of better. I think that that was like one of the really weird things is like even doing like certain aspects of the new club boss content. A lot of the four stars or epics were actually outperforming some of the five stars just because of the gimmicks and the utility that those units have that some of the five stars don't really have or don't get until you really, really have them super invested with resos and skill ups, which that's just its own dilemma on its own, right? Um, so I will say that for me personally, I think that the unit has to be bringing something to the table that allows you to be able to stretch into multiple different pieces of content. And that's where you'll ultimately be able to answer a lot of those questions of whether or not you'll pull for a character. Now, like I said, try to keep up with anyone, you know, like me, your boy, making dislike content, because I will try my best to make sure that you understand the value of what the character is giving. Like Pan, for example, I really did feel like I emphasized that if he is a a unit you want yeah and you want him for the reasoning of him quote unquote being meta understand you have to do x y and z to get him to this point and i think that that's really going to be the clear indication for a lot of players is that some characters are going to require a lot more than others so you might want to save for that whereas some like ashley for example you're just able to get and she just kind of immediately gives you whatever value she has now the other thing is guys and this is the biggest component for me at the recording of this video that's really halting me and really making me feel like things might come up as bait is understanding that right now is a super crucial time for free to play players because you only have about 30 days guys and probably probably even a little less than that now but before annie comes now within that time frame you want to be very very particular on what you pull for because i don't want anyone to experience fomo because you didn't wait right um and you blew everything for these units knowing that we have anniversary coming up and the thing that i think is always worth considering and this is my last point guys are none of these units are limited okay so unlike a lot of other gotchas where units you know they rotate and you just don't have another opportunity to get them these units are not limited so yes they go into a standard pool and keep in mind guys as a free to play which is absolutely amazing in my opinion the wish stone system allowing you every couple of months to be able to select an esper that you do not have in your account is god tier so even if you don't get the esper right now if you're able to like i said in the very beginning of the video if you're constantly or consistently clearing things you don't have to fret because eventually you'll be able to actually get that esper Right. And I think that that's one of the biggest components of what makes the gotcha system so well rounded now is that it doesn't matter because, OK, yeah, I skipped that banner. But I know, you know, in a few weeks, I'll be able to actually get that unit. Right. So I think that that's something that is worth thinking and considering when looking at these banners. I know when a banner drops and a unit is being hyped up, it's really, really hard not to pull. But I would even say, guys, this is going to be your best chance of making sure you're ready for anniversary because I honestly and truly feel like whatever comes for anniversary is going to be absolutely broken. So that's pretty much going to be that, guys. I just want to say, like, honestly, try to do better, make better decisions, okay? I want to hear nobody crying, okay? I, I be like, hey, Zox put a video up talking about this, okay? So try your best to save, guys. That's my biggest piece of advice that I would really promote right now. Um, is trying to save i know that like this athena chick that looks like that's coming up looks like she might be really really good and like i said the only way that i would remotely even emphasize pulling for her is if she is going to be giving something crazy to you in multiple areas in the game right um so that's pretty much going to be that guys let me know what you guys think like what are your exact plans for moving forward like are you going to be saving are you going to be pulling for this new unit that's coming up um what exactly are is your mentality or your plan for leading up to anniversary so that's gonna be that guys stay charged up stay blessed and i'll catch you guys in the next one